Hi, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Touchpoints TV. I'm Alicia Frioletta, Associate Editor for Retail Touchpoints, and I'm here with Scott Silverman, um, Co-Founder and VP of Marketing for I Feel Goods. Scott, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, um, I Feel Goods is a company that sort of knows deep into the whole gamification space, and consumers have been responding to games like Mafia Wars, Farmville, things like that. So can you explain for everyone watching exactly what gamification is? It's actually a pretty simple concept. So typically people will receive financial incentives where they'll you know, get rewarded financially for doing something or they'll get a discount for, uh, in, to encourage them to buy something. Gamification is this idea where you're tapping into some people's other types of motivations. So it might be pride mm -hmm. or, some, or this competitive spirit uh, that you're using that instead of a financial reward. So a typical example would be a company like Foursquare where you check in and if you check in enough times you become the mayor. And you don't get a financial reward, it's just pride for being the mayor. Or it's competitive because you just knocked off the other person who was mayor before you and now you can take this claim as being the mayor. So it's, it's a really simple concept and I think the internet has made it easier um, to connect people together into this larger uh, idea of a game. Excellent. Um, so do you think it's mainly that competitive spirit that drives the, the consumer action for gamification? Like what, what makes consumers tick in this area, do you think? I mean, I, I think it's really tapping into some you know, deep psychological aspects of people. I mean, when you play a game like Farmville, for example, um, you will plant crops and then the crops will bloom in say 12 hours or 18 hours and if you don't then go and harvest them you get penalized um, and you also um, you want to go and harvest them because it'll help you get to the next level and it's you know why people want to get to the next level is a big mystery but it's pretty clear through all the data um, and one thing that these games like Farmville um, has is, is immense amounts of data on what motivates people, what makes people take this next step. And so all of this information is, you know, it's very clear that you're, they're, they're tapping into some kind of psyche of people. It's their, I, you know, I think of it as their competitive spirit or their ego or their pride. And it's really effective. I mean, we as human beings, it's kind of odd that these are uh, sometimes a bigger motivator than a financial reward. Excellent. Um, and to the end, do you have any tips or sort of best practices for retailers that are looking to implement gamification somehow but don't really know the first steps to take necessarily? Um, so just a little bit of background on I Feel Goods. We are a uh, digital goods incentive platform. So we use some of the currencies like Facebook credits that are used in uh, social games like Farmville and Cityville and so on. And so what we're doing is we're allowing uh, retailers and brands and marketers to use this virtual currency of Facebook credits mm -hmm. as incentives for different things. So you can go to 1-800-Flowers and you make a purchase, you get 15% off plus 25 free Facebook credits. So we're, it, this is a very simple way for a retailer to um, get involved in gamification and into social gaming because they're able to really uh, capitalize on that uh, virtual currency that's used in these games. So that is a really easy first step for retailers to start to get involved. Excellent. And you know, you touched on um, 1-800-Flowers, who are one of your clients, and you've also worked for The Gap and uh, Shoebuy.com, which we've covered here at Retail Touchpoints. So um, can you share some of the key outcomes for retailers that are looking to partner with I Feel Goods and generally what they're looking for when they first approach you? You know, it's kind of interesting. When we first started the company, the main idea was that we were helping them use these virtual currencies and digital goods as incentives because they have a very high perceived value, that people mm -hmm. would value them higher than for, for emotional reasons or for other reasons, and that that would allow them to lower their promotion costs. So they could offer, say, 50 Facebook credits instead of $10 off, and the 50 mm -hmm. Facebook credits is worth $5, um, you know, would be a $5 promotional cost versus $10. What we found are a couple really interesting things. One is that when you incorporate um, these digital goods into your marketing, you'll see that your marketing costs will lower. So you'll see, for example, in your display ads, you'll, you'll get higher click-through rates and you'll have lower cost per click. Um, the other aspect of this is whenever 
uh, we're delivering a digital good, we deliver it through Facebook, and there is always social sharing involved. So 70% of the time when somebody receives this type of incentive, they will actually share it with their friends on Facebook, and that leads to incremental conversions and sales. So we've seen some cases 30% of a campaign's conversions or orders will come from the sharing, not from the advertising. Excellent. Well, those are incredible metrics, especially in terms of social sharing, which is big in the retail space as well as click-throughs. So to that end, how do you see gamification developing in the retail industry in the near future? Do you think it's starting to pick up more, or do you think more people are still unsure of the overall benefits that it can have for their business? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're right on the fringe of it. Mm -hmm. um, we're seeing uh, companies like Shopkick that are really beginning to um, generate awareness about gamification. I mean, it's it's, it's this uh, path that it's going from more of an academic topic into more of a commercial topic. And we're, I think, just at the tipping point where there's a lot of companies that I'm talking to, um, I Feel Goods is talking to, that they understand the idea. Now they need to figure out what's the, the way to enter this idea of gamification and make it work for their business. Right. And that's why we're, um, you know, we, we've grown to 50, over 50 clients in, you know, just over a year is, we offer a very um, easy way for companies to begin getting into gamification. Excellent. So you think there's a lot of potential growth for companies that take the leap into gamification? I mean, just like any new idea or technology, there's always going to be early adopters. And when some of the results are seen and you see what's happening and the impact that it's making, then other companies get more interested and it begins to grow. So we're just at that stage where more of the awareness is happening. And um, I think 2011, or 2012, 2013, we're really going to see a lot of growth in this area. Excellent. And uh, Scott, you have a lot of involvement with NRF and uh, shop.org, which is obviously a huge resource and outlet for the retail industry. So um, can you touch on your experiences uh, with these foundations and how they may have influenced your decision to develop I Feel Goods and dive more into uh, this new emerging space? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I spent uh, over 10 years with shop.org, and during that time, I saw a number of different concepts and technologies emerge and bloom, things like search and social media and user-generated content. And when I began to learn about social games and gamification, and, I, and this was you know, a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. there was not a lot of it going on. It seemed like there was a big opportunity. It was an untapped marketplace. And when we came together as the founders of I Feel Goods, we really wanted to come up with a solution that would make it easy for companies to get into this marketplace and begin um, testing and implementing uh, in campaigns that would allow them to take advantage of this idea of digital goods and gamification. Excellent, Scott. Well, you touched on all of the basics of what gamification is and how retailers can implement it, um, and also the potential for a bright future for retailers. Scott, thank you again so much thank for you. taking the time out. And thanks